You know what's going to be really great is when we can just all stay in our homes and not go anywhere, you know, because we won't have to, mm. you know, because it's so dangerous out there, so dangerous outside. Have you noticed that? Everybody in my house over the holidays was sick. Where do you think they got that? Outside. 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 Yeah. Other people. Exactly we right. eliminate the whole other people thing from our right. lives. Everything right. would be so much better. And, you know, in Davos, there's probably somebody saying that mm. uh, <laughs> in just the next couple of weeks. If we just get rid of all the people, uh, we wouldn't have all problems with people. Uh, anyway, um, there's a couple of things the uh, the governors around our country are, are doing to make your life just that much better. Uh, let's start in California because Gavin Newsom isn't done yet. Uh, he just signed a bill into law and uh, it goes into uh, effect in April. Uh, it is uh, fast food chains, national fast food chains that operate in California have to pay their employees a minimum of $20 per hour. Now, that the minimum wage in California is $16, but they're moving it up to $20 an hour. I, Glenn, did you, I thought about this reading some of these stories about the minimum wage increases because they're all over the country yeah. in 2024. Sure. Don't you remember when we had the conversation about a $15 minimum wage? Yes. And it we was said. treated as a Bernie Sanders fever dream, mm -hmm. right? Like mm -hmm. it was like, okay, Bernie Sanders, Democrats mm -hmm. were saying, okay, Bernie Sanders is saying that, but we're, no one's really considering $15 an hour. Mm -hmm. Then like Seattle did it mm -hmm. and like Portland did it. Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, gosh, that was crazy. Can you believe that? And then, and and then they watched those restaurants yeah, leave. move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, now, 20, 20, yeah. No, twenty dollars is is twenty dollars. We said we said at the time, why not make it twenty? Twenty five, thirty. Hell, why what? not make it a hundred dollars an hour? What is your limiting principle here? Correct. Correct. Uh and we said that they're not gonna you're going to get the increase passed to you as a best case scenario. And all of those people, and I know this is a small business person. When my dad couldn't afford to uh, have help because egg prices, he was a baker, egg prices went up or whatever happened, he had to let go the staff that was doing all of the work on cleaning and everything else, and he hired me for a quarter. <laughs> okay? That's what they do. They, can't, they, they just can't print money like the United States of America. Uh, of course, they said uh, that uh, it would protect the fast food workers. Uh, unfortunately, there's been a little announcement from major uh, a major corporation, uh, Pizza Hut. Uh, they've decided that they're going to lay off all of their delivery drivers. And they say, well, I mean, why should we pay for that? Because you can just go through DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber Eats. Which leads you to two things. Okay, great, but now I pay for that delivery where I didn't pay for it before. So you're getting it in the end. You now have to pay for delivery instead of Pizza Hut bringing it to you. Mm -hmm. uh, and it opens up the door for, well, now wait a minute. All of these drivers have been left off. Maybe we should regulate DoorDash and Grubhub and oh, Uber yeah. Eats. <laughs> California also initiating a new law today. Now, imagine you're, you have a you know, toy store or a toy center in your house or in your, your business, okay? You're, you're in the business at all of selling toys. Okay. I mean, it could be marginal, mm -hmm. but that's part of your product line. Uh, today, it begins, they will fine any retailers if they don't sell gender-neutral children toys in their store. They have to be clearly marked and sectioned, and stores that refuse to comply will face a $250 penalty for the first violation and $500 penalty for every uh, subsequent uh, offense. Oh, and it, the law also pertains to, quote, any product designed or intended by the manufacturer to facilitate sleep, relaxation, or the feeding of children or to help children with sucking or teething. <laughs> so it has to, because it's not clothing, right? They don't have to have a special no, clothing it's or toys, but just toys. Then the so wait, sleep, like, so relaxation, you... feeding of children, 
and help children with sucking or teething. That is disturbing. That's a disturbing line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Disturbingly specific. Mm-hmm. I like how they put a lot of thought into that. But, like, what does that mean? So, like, you have a section currently, right, where you have a bunch of toys that are together mm-hmm. from boys and girls. Mm-hmm. Then you have to and have a not- separate section section right like so you're not like you're you're giving options to kids who are supposedly transgendered or non-binary or whatever the hell they're promoting this week but you, you it's no, they because, can't even be in the same section with because, other kids because it's not the point the mm-hmm. children not the point it is to make a statement this store will comply there were many many stores back in the 1930s over in a well, foreign land okay. that uh, a lot of people were not with the Nazi party. They weren't with it, mm-hmm. but they put the Nazi flag up in their store window because they didn't want trouble. Right. Okay. That's all this is. We have a special, what, non-binary, what the hell is this calling for uh, gender neutral children toys? Imagine seeing that. What do you think? You immediately know this store caved. That's that's all this is. This is muscle. Wow, I, I, it's, it seems so. Uh, like what? Uh, again, this isn't about the customers. You have to remind yourself it's not about the customers because what customers would be like, where? What am I do? Where am I going? Like when you go into a store, let's say you have a daughter who really likes sports, right? Maybe isn't consistent with uh, the typical gender sure. stereotype, sure. right? You just go buy the things they like, uh-huh. right? That's As a parent, you say, okay, well, they 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 like uh, basketball, so I'm going to buy her a basketball. You don't necessarily need to go to a girl's section, a girl's sports section to find the basketball. I, they have different sizes for girls, but using this as an example, they're going to be right next to the other basketballs, and you're going to say this is... Girls basketball, you're going to go buy that. Now these people are going to go to these sections and then, in theory, go to another separate section Mm -hmm. where there is a... Well, well well-marked section. A well-marked section. Yeah, have to be clearly marked and sectioned. And how long until they say this is essentially segregation? You're taking these poor non-binary kids and making them have their own section? They're going to just... None of this stuff makes any sense. What was segregation really all about? What was segregation really, truly all about? I mean, it was about a lot of things, um, but it was about certainly uh, racism, skin color, uh, power, right? A, a sign of power. I, I would say mainly power. I mean, mm-hmm. racism, obviously, but right. that is a function of I want to be powerful over somebody else. Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what was segregation? It was teaching people. hmm you are not good enough to walk through this door. Mm-hmm. These people are. Okay? Mm-hmm. So whenever you saw whites only, you were reinforcing. You were teaching the public without ever saying blacks are inferior. I'm only saying whites only. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, that's all I'm saying. This wasn't a good argument, but this is what no, th- this but was, this they is, were trying this to. Was the, the, it was only mm-hmm. about power and reinforcing the doctrine of the people in power. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. And that's all this is. Another new law out of California. Uh, It starts today. If you're an employer in California, you cannot ask your employees about their marijuana consumption outside of the workplace. So you can't necessarily smoke pot on the job. No. Yet. And you cannot penalize employees if they test positive for marijuana unless they're actively high at work. At work, so I, I, you know, and I don't know how do you how do you how do you know you're actively high? No, oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, wow, no. I mean, how do you? I mean, we work in the entertainment field. Everyone around here is high. Uh, everybody. Okay, so here's the problem. Here's the problem with this. It seems kind of reasonable. It seems kind of reasonable now. You know. You're kind of like, well, yeah, as long as they're not high at work. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, and that's the way most people are going to look at it. Well, yeah, I mean, if they want to smoke dope, you know. Uh, but I, I mean, mean, there's a part of me that that has some sympathy right. for this. I, 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 I know, I, I, I know. I, you know, again, I don't, I, know. I don't 
I don't, right. I, we, it's still federally We've, illegal. We do realize this, right? No. Like everyone's like, oh, it's legal now. Not no, it's really. Not. Like it's actually still against federal law. Yeah. Um, but, but, but again, like I, I, you know, I kind of feel the same way of like, well, you know, if you're tweeting something, should you be fired from your job? Pretty much. No. I mean, well, there, I there shouldn't are exceptions have, honestly, to that maybe, but I shouldn't have been fired from my job. I was never drunk at work, but I was drunk for 21 hours out of the day. But like we start firing people who are drunk 21 hours a day. There's nobody there's no, left. There's no left in the workforce. Right. This is California. <laughs> you start firing people who are smoking pot. There's nothing left. But like, I, I don't think that. Uh, and this is a, <laughs> it's a strange thing to say, but I don't think that, like a functioning alcoholic. If you were drinking at home and coming in and doing a good show every day, you shouldn't be fired for right. your drinking shouldn't at home. Be. I mean, that's no, your, shouldn't it's be. your own bad personal choice. Correct. Now, if you're doing something illegal at home, which marijuana is, there's a different maybe argument. But still, like generally speaking, I think that's you should I'm keep with yourself. You. Like I said, this one kind of it just is like we're lowering the standards. Right. You know, we're having to pass a law that says, hey. There's a really big problem with people being <laughs> fired because they're smoking pot. <laughs> you know, maybe we should look at it that way just a bit because I don't necessarily have a problem with the law. In Illinois, a new law going into effect on January 1 will allow non-citizens to become police officers and sheriffs. So, Illinois, you got that going for you. Now, I'm noticing a trend here on some of these laws. Let's see. the California, Michigan... Illinois. Okay. Well, uh, landlords also in Illinois are going to be required under state law to rent or sell property to non citizens and illegal aliens beginning today. Uh, and by the way, if you're an illegal alien, you're also going to be able to obtain a standard driver's license uh, starting, you know, wow, just around election uh, time and mid 2024. So, now you won't need that to vote, of course. No, <laughs> you, no. You'll have a. You could go in and vote, and they just have to bring anything. But we don't have to stop you for anything at the border. No, and we don't even have to verify that. Yes, those crying children are your children. We're not going to ask you for no, nothing. Too much. Too much. Too much. Uh, beginning January first, Illinois also is shutting off state funding for public and school libraries that. Uh, Ban books for political reasons, including books that promote LGBTQ uh, plus ideology, making the first state to enact uh, the law. Um, so it's they are promoting this as a ban on book bans. Yes. But of course, these book bans aren't actually occurring. Correct. So it's a ban on something that has not really been banned. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we've got the bonfire burning. All I'm asking you to do is just keep <laughs> throwing stuff in. Okay. In Colorado, a new law will go into effect beginning January 1st. Wow, Colorado, another state. What do these states have in common? A new law go into effect beginning today, banning certain single-use plastics. Oh, God. Like bags and styrofoam cups and takeout containers. So they say that... Uh, these are typically less expensive than paper or biodegradable alternatives. Yeah, they're also better. They're also better. Uh, they do the job, you know. As much as I like taking, uh, you know, uh, and using my paper towel holder, you know, the inside of the after, I save those now for straws. <laughs> the only way you can get any, any liquid up, they have to be that wide. Yeah, and, and, they, they, and it lasts for, oh, seconds before I, it just starts to degrade into whatever it is you're ingesting. I was at a restaurant this weekend that had uh, paper straws. Oh, I... And I was drinking out of one of them. First, it's a terrible experience. Like, it, it feels awful on your lips. It feels awful on your tongue. It, 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 the, the soda doesn't come up. And I was, I was drinking this, and I, I just started taking them out and asking for new ones every time it got the slightest bit difficult. Because... Screw these people. I want to use 50 paper straws just to show them that they shouldn't be doing this. These no, they stupid won't restaurants. No, they won't learn. Because they, they, they don't care. It's not, no, of course, it's, it's not about the climate. No, it's about, again, marking all of the toys and the toy mm -hmm. section. We're, we've given up. We're not going to cause any problems. Even though most of our customers hate this, there's a few vocal people that want us to stop with plastic and we might even ourselves want to stop with plastic 
But that's not why we're doing it. We're doing it now so we can tell everybody we've surrendered. 